Here we are on Saturday, the 25th of January 2014. Ten months of inconvenience, ten months of disruption to the traffic on the N2 for the construction of this road. You notice there that there was a part that has not been constructed. It seems there's some uh, problem in relation to whose responsibility it is to join up the two roads. Here we go now on the new road and uh, if you compare this to one of the first uh, videos that we made of the construction of this road you will see that this was the roadway going up through this field coming up to the turn at the top here and that caused some problems they had to remove uh, the curb stones and widen the corner because uh, lorries were having difficulty negotiating it it's still the way to go to Dedavnet because the Dedavnet road at Mullins Turn has not been completed yet uh, it was closed for a week and now it's maybe two weeks uh, before uh, it will be open. Runoff lines or lanes in the centre of the road for the turnoffs to the various roads on the left and on the right uh, widened the road at those positions but um, it also means as you will see coming up here now uh, well, the signpost that, or the sign for keeping to the left has been blown down by the wind there. Uh, that centre reservation part there has already been surfaced, but they have left the cones there for some reason or other, possibly because the lines have not been painted on it. But um, it also means that uh, any part of the road that may be passable or straight enough to pass uh, has now become... Uh, impossible because of the island in the centre of the road as you will see further down around this corner here. Another uh, reservation line or lane in the centre here, uh, it has not been resurfaced yet, uh, the top surface has not been added to it, uh, but uh, they are moving back up this road from the Tidabna turn and that will be done hopefully at the beginning of next week. And uh, then the work is supposed to be completed by the end of next week, next Friday. Uh, there's still quite a lot of work to be done. And uh, whether they will have it totally finished or not. But even this coming week, because of those reservations in the centre that have to be resurfaced, there's still going to be uh, disruption to traffic for the, the coming week as well. This one here, for example, uh, partly filled in, partly uh, covered, uh, resurfaced, but uh, still uh, space is left there to be recovered and uh, very difficult for uh, traffic going into the side roads to negotiate uh, places like that. Here we are coming down now to Mullins Turn and again uh, you can see that uh, there is a constant turn or a constant curve, uh, impossible to pass slow moving uh, traffic like carry like tractors and uh, a lot of people have been complaining uh, that there is no lay by by which a tractor can pull in i'm going to slow up here so that we can take a quick look to the left hand side at the road to tidavnet uh, you will see that it has been raised and it has a new foundation because uh, poor foundation was being found and they decided that they would uh, refill uh, the foundation there so that uh, that road would be uh, capable of taking quite heavy traffic. And there we are coming back out onto the existing road here uh, towards Karakrin. Now the phase three is to take it from here to Emmyvale village. When that will be done is another question but in the meantime the traffic will come fairly fast <coughs> to here and then from here to the village and through the village there will be quite a tailback and quite a traffic jam. But that's all in the future.